Microsoft unveils its Spot Framework, a set of prepackaged AI-powered tools that lets anyone create their own chatbot simulating human conversations because someone has to respond to grandma's three-page comment. Welcome to Machine Learning in a Nutshell. I'm Mark Register. Toymaker Ankey announces an October release for their WALL-E-like Cosmo robot with Pixar animator Carlos Baina's expertise running on an emotion engine learning from how you interact with it. The Cosmo Kramer setting will allow Cosmo to enter anyone's apartment uninvited. Google DeepMind writes to the UK government asking to fund degree courses focusing on machine learning to make the UK the world leader in AI. Google says, quote, Dear UK, yes, Alphabet made $20 billion last quarter, but with all the money you're saving from Brexit, we thought you may want to help a brother out. End quote. Alex Liu, CEO and co-founder of Kavout, creates a machine learning system that sifts through filings and stock quotes, creating a chi-score, estimating future performance while providing users a guru screen to help coach you to become an effective investor. Currently, the service is free because 60% of the time, it works every time. Columbia's Tau Center for Digital Journalism uses machine learning to classify presidential candidate social media messages, categorizing tweets into urge people to act, change their opinions through persuasion, inform them about some activity or event, honoring or mourning people or holidays, or conversations with public people. Feature request, bullshit barometer, please. Yeezy Song and Timothy Hospidales at Queen Mary University of London School of Electronic Engineering and Computer Science teach a deep learning neural network to recognize hand-drawn sketches and use them to search for real-life products, working with retailers to get this technology implemented in the next year. And Pinterest uses machine learning to identify products in an image and allow you to add them to your cart and purchase them immediately because you really don't need that retirement fund. The European Union creates regulations for collect, storage, collection, storage, and use of personal data and restricts automated individual decision making, which targets machine learning employing deep neural networks starting in 2018. Uh, this will be enforced by a 20 million euro fine or 4% of a company's global revenue. Given neural networks are seen as a black box difficult to track, this law could push the development of tools to better track how a deep neural network operates, allowing for more transparency because refuting evidence is more complicated when the evidence can't be produced. And all you can say is, tie goes in, tie goes out. You can't explain that. Over the last two years, Twitter acquires two machine learning companies, WetLab and Mad, uh, MadBits, and now hires Alessandro Sabatelli as a director of VR and AR. And they buy UK-based Magic Pony technology for $150 million, which uses neural networks and machine learning to provide expanded data for images to enhance pictures and video or develop graphics for VR and AR. The deal includes the 11 PhDs on staff and the 20 patents they have on their belt. Totally emasculating Batman's belt. Dark Trace raises $65 million in their Series C funding with a valuation of $400 million to continue development of their enterprise immune system, which uses machine learning technology to detect and respond to cyber attacks without prior knowledge of what it is looking for. Now, once detected, the system can neutralize the breach using antigena to slow or prevent any attacks without disrupting your system, then play back the sequence of events that led to the breach. Dark Trace's founders include former senior members of MI5 and GCHQ, CIA, FBI, the world's government information and security alphabet soup. The company went with Enterprise Immune System to describe their service as Enterprise Urine Indicator Dye was already copyrighted. Astronomers at University College London create Robert, a deep belief neural network to search for habitable planets by mimicking human recognition and dreaming processes. Robert sifts through light images from distant planetary systems armed with information about atmospheric gases and is able to identify habitable planets in what used to take weeks Robert now does in seconds. Robert has three layers with a bottom layer of 500 processors, a middle layer of 200 processors to refine and pass up data to the top layer with 50 processors, identifying the gases most likely to be present. 
When the James Webb Space Telescope launches in 2018, the data collected will allow Robert to be even more effective in finding and identifying distant worlds. Now we don't have to look up at the stars and dream because Robert dreams for us now. RankBrain is now used in all Google searches. Jack Clark from Bloomberg says, quote, RankBrain uses artificial intelligence to embed vast amounts of written language into mathematical entities called vectors that the computer can understand. If Rank Brain sees a word or phrase it isn't familiar with, the machine can make a guess as to what words or phrases might have a similar meaning and filter the result accordingly, making it more effective at handling never before seen re- uh, search queries. Rank Brain is one of hundreds of signals that go into an algorithm that determines what results appear on a Google search page. Of the hundreds of signals, it's the third most important. Rank Brain learns offline from previous searches, tests out its newfound knowledge, and if it works, keeps those lessons learned. If not, discards it. Rank Brain is the third most important input, but doesn't always kick in for all queries. Just like in real life, the brain is the second or third most important organ used in making decisions and sometimes not used at all. John Nay creates a machine learning approach going through 68,000 bills over 14 years to predict the probability of a bill becoming a law by scoring each sentence of the bill with a language model that embeds legislative vocabulary into a semantic laden vector space. John says, quote, for prediction, we scored each sentence of a bill with a language model that embeds legislative vocabulary in a semantic laden vector space. This language representation uh, enables our investigation to which words increase the probability of enactment for any topic. To test the relative importance of text and context, we compared the text model to a context-only model that uses variables such as whether the bill's, bill's sponsor is in the majority party. We found combining text and context always performs best. Our hypothesis, there are unique semantic and syntactic signatures that differentiate successful bills. And now we can create synthetic summaries of hypothetical bills by providing a set of words that capture any topic of interest, end quote. Now, using John Nay's tool as a resource, Bill's life could get a whole lot easier. I'm just a Bill. Yes, I'm only a Bill. And I'm sitting here. Up. Nope, now I'm a lob. This is so easy. India's top job portal site for entry-level hiring, Freshers World, launches their machine learning algorithm, Relevant Profile Extractor, to find candidates instantly using deep learning, using candidate application history, activity profiling, interest shown for similar jobs, and 16 other inputs. White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough says they are, quote, looking through the DOD at how we can use AI and machine learning to increase our defenses. The U.S. is also very clear eyed in making sure there's appropriate human interaction and any kind of weaponization of any of this artificial intelligence. The U.S. will establish a code of conduct and a set of understandings and automation will make income inequality worse. End quote. The president's 2016 economic report said jobs that earn less than $20 an hour have an 83% chance of automation. Now, Robin Chase and Martin Ford encourage policymakers to set up universal basic income to offset the inevitable change which will happen in the next seven years. So when you finally get a job from Fresher's World's math equation, you'll most likely lose it to a younger and much better looking math math equation. Then come home to your government issued AI husband, collect your universal basic income and enjoy your life in a simulated reality. Because as Elon Musk says... The odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. So is this the real life? One in a billions chance, yes. Is this just fantasy? Billions to one chance, yes. So you're saying there's a chance. Have a great week. Yeah!